Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. My name is Keisha. Uh, welcome to my channel, Storytime Jane. Got it over there. Um, and today's video is about flannels. Now, flannels are amazing. I love using them in circle times and story times because they are an active teaching tool that you can use. And it's in the form of kind of like a game. And kids love games. It's like a guessing game. So these are three of my circle time flannel favorites. I'm going to have more videos, trust me, because I love making flannels. And I'm creative and I'm extra. So I've made all kinds of different flannels. Um, I do get geeky with them, too. I've got like Ash from the Evil Dead flannel and Ursula and things like that. So... Here is my first one. This first one is Little Frog, Little Frog, Are You Hiding Behind the Log? This one is my favorite because you've got counting, you've got colors, you've got guessing, all kinds of stuff. Kids get hyped about this stuff. They love trying to find where the frog is, ribbit, ribbit, and trying to guess where he's located. Now, pro tip, if you are going to do this flannel, um, don't choose the yellow one or the orange one. That's what kids choose first. They always choose those ones. So try to like switch it up or something. But so this one is really cool because the way that I like to go about using it is saying, you know, oh, there's a little frog. Can you hear it? Ribbit, ribbit. Little frog, little frog. Are you hiding behind the log? Oh, where is little frog? And you go through and you can start off by saying like, what color logs do we have? Yellow, orange, brown, green, red, blue, whatever colors you decide to make yours. And then I also say like, how many logs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's counting. They can go through colors. And I also go through and count throughout when we start taking them off. So I say, little frog, little frog, are you hiding under a log? And I let them guess. So someone raises their hand and they guess brown. <gasps> oh, no. Frog's not behind that one. Let's go looking. Little frog, little frog, are you hiding behind the log? What color should we choose? And then you go through and they're like green. And then you go through, oh, he's not there. Where's little frog? And some get like anxious and they're like, where's little frog? Ah. So um, kids start like blurting out and yelling like the colors and everything. And you go and you can choose blue. Is little frog there? No. Yellow. Oh. Nope, not there. And then if you see on the back of these, I've got like a little bit of Velcro because sometimes it's hard for it to stick to flannel. Flannel sticks to flannel pretty well. But when you've got a whole room full of children and you're having to like work the room and move around or you're having to display things, sometimes they do fall off. So I like to use Velcro just as a, you know, extra safeguard. So we go through, ah, frog is under the red log. Yay. And kids are so excited to find frog behind the log that they like start clapping and cheering. And it is a great flannel to use. Now, the next one I am going to display. There are two on here. The first one is the snowball, snowball, cold and round. Behind which mitten can you be found? I know that's you have to say that every single time, but it's super cool and the kids love doing it. So um, I have six snowballs, but for the purpose of this flannel board, I'm going to give you four choices. So we go through and we say, what color do we have? And we, you know, red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, now let's see. Let's go looking for the snowball. How many do we have? And we count one, two, three, four. And as you can see, because I've done a terrible job of hiding the snowball, um, the snowball is behind the green one because it's got that little shape. That's something you got to figure out too. You got to make sure that 
you have the snowball and it's not, you can't see it from the back of the flannel. And that's why I also have a little white circle that's like laminated because it's flat. And I put a little piece of Velcro behind it. And then also with these, you can put a little piece of Velcro on the top so that they hang a little bit more loose. So as you can see, whoa, it's not there because it just dropped. Anyways, so here is my little snowball that was behind there. And then the kids guess yellow, they guess red, they guess orange, and they have a fun time. It's a super cute one. Okay, this last one is one of my favorites because it is counting. So you're counting five little redfish and it's like five little monkeys jumping on the bed, but it's five little redfish swimming in the sea teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. And I'm going to do this so that you can see the full glory of it. So I have five little redfish. Put your hands together. They're swimming in the sea. And this is a sign for fish. So if you want to just do that, you got five little redfish swimming in the sea and they're teasing Mr. Shark. How do they tease Mr. Shark? And this is what I have kids do all the time. You get your hands like that. You reverse me and say, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Because it's kind of like the gills and it's super silly and hilarious. And kids like silly. So um, along comes Mr. Shark. You can put the shark fin up there. Along comes Mr. Shark. Do-do, 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 do-do. As quiet as can be. And he opens his jaws and snap. And then you take one away. Ah, how many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little redfish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snap. How many are left? Three. So you just go through the whole thing. The way that I made this one is I got a little short cutty and I got the Dr. Seuss one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I got the red fish and I made a whole bunch of copies, five copies, laminated it and put a little piece of Velcro on the back. And then this little shark is recognizable because he's from Finding Nemo because fish are friends, not food. Um, and so I got the shark from Finding Nemo. I got this uh, laminated because laminating is something that you can do too. Laminating is a great way to save you time on your flannels. So you can laminate and put a piece of Velcro behind it. I like to make, I like to do it both ways. Um, this one is my favorite because the kids like the fish and then they like the Finding Nemo shark. And also, one more thing too is when all of your fish are gone and if you want to bring them back to count too, you can say, oh my gosh, guys, guess what happened? The shark didn't know that he was allergic to red fish. So he threw them up. Blah. And then I like to put them back up there. Okay, guys, let's put them back up there. Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Yay. That one fell down. Sometimes they fall down, guys. If your flannels fall down while you're doing it, pick it back up and keep it moving because kids won't care. No one cares. All right. So that was my last one. Um, five little red fish swimming in the sea with teasing Mr. Shark. And that is the conclusion of this video. I will be making more videos with flannels and I'll be doing some how to with flannels and some basic flannel shapes that you can use and working with kids. I also have one of my new flannels over here. I got my little baby group. And I also have Mike Wazowski because I'm extra. I like making flannels. This I just do this to keep my fingers busy. But um, flannels are great for circle time and using them in your classroom because it's something that if you're done with this board, you can put it in the corner in your reading center and you can see that kids will manipulate the flannels. They'll play with them. They'll pretend to be you by counting them. So they want to play teacher. And um, they love it. They love playing with flannels. Flannels are like a tactile thing, too, um, and a visual thing. I'm a very visual person, but I also am tactile. That's why I love making flannels, because they have that cool, you know, texture to them and everything like that. But 
The first thing, they're a learning tool. You can use them for counting. You can use them for guessing games. You can extend a book, all kinds of cool things. You can tell a story with just flannels and not even having a book. So anyways, if you guys like that video, please like at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. Storytime Jane. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And you stay classy. Have a great day. Bye.